new at 6, if you've been wondering about all the helicopter activity over Santa Cruz County lately, you're certainly not alone. Action News reporter Phil Gomez joins us live with the story behind these mystery chopper missions. Phil? Well, Aaron, PG&E is behind the mysterious copter flights, and it's all in an effort to keep people safe. I've been here in a helicopter for the last few weeks, every day, circling over my house, back and forth. It's pretty annoying. This helicopter just kept circling around and around and around and around. I saw it this weekend, yeah. Yeah, so it just hovers around. I wonder what it's about. I, I, I was wondering if we got a helicopter, a police chopper or something. People have wondered out loud about the blue and white helicopter flying overhead from Capitola to Davenport. PG&E is using the helicopters to get an aerial view of their pipeline. The goal of the dual purpose reconnaissance to prevent gas ruptures by looking for any excavation or digging that could lead to a gas leak. If we do see something, uh, commonly we will circle several times trying to get both uh, good pictures, good visibility as to what they're doing. We've been patrolling daily about 145 miles of transmission pipeline. Their work isn't just in the air. PG&E is also working on the ground, conducting hydro testing of its natural gas lines. That's where they use high pressure pumps to send water through five and a half miles of pipeline from Capitola to Felton, looking for any leaks. So it's a preventative measure that allows us to um, identify and then fix potential issues before they become an issue. It, it allows us to do it in a safe environment. PG&E says expect the choppers to be flying through the end of the month. Still, for local residents, the sight and sound of all of those helicopters whirring overhead was cause for concern. It's either, you know, uh, rescue, because a lot of people, you know, have problems in the ocean, or it's gang stuff. You know, they got a new helicopter, maybe. They're now, there is an 811 number that homeowners and construction companies can call before they start any digging to determine if gas lines are running across the area where they'll be doing work. Aaron. All right, Phil, and they should always do that. You should always call in if you are going to do any construction work. Thank you, Phil. So far, the PG&E helicopter crews have checked 40 dig-in sites, and so far there have not been any natural gas line safety issues. So again, the gas line safety project is scheduled to run through the rest of the month, so that means residents are going to have to put up with the sometimes annoying helicopters until then.